Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. I believe this is episode four. I'm Illusion like usual, and uh, I've just been working on the um, little space station, asteroid station thing, whatever you want to call it. Made some changes this last episode in, in my true fashion. I uh, make something on the video and look at it during, while I'm editing the video. I'm like, oh man, that's, that's ugly or that sucks. So uh, I put the solar panel flat, but after I checked the wiki, this solar panel is not as good as I thought it was going to be. I think it was like, you're going to have to need 300 solar panels just to run a refinery. So, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, I had a little accident with the mining ship, and uh, that prompted me to do a little bit of a rework. So it's now got five drill bits instead of three. But I've done a fair amount of mining um, since the last episode to kind of prep for getting the station, the station done a little bit better. Go ahead. Uh, let me kind of see what I have going on down here in the assembler. But I've done a fair amount. And I've done a fair amount of crafting as well. But anyway, so that's the catch up. And then I also put a beacon up there a while because when I was mining on that place over there I kept getting lost and couldn't find my way back so yeah alright so here we go so we're going to get this base station up and running that's the plan at least so I want to get a small reactor installed so let's get small reactor components oh nice um so, computers, computers, motors, let's, see, let's empty this plate thing out first. Motors, computers, steel plates, always need steel plates. Large Large. Okay, I think that's it for that. So let's get some more stuff out of here. So if you go about computers, good on computers. So let's get some more construction components. Some of that. like 20 um, and like 250 can you do that much no but anyway um, oh we need the components for that Reactor components. Okay, well, let's just build what, I, what we can first. Alright, number eight. I'll have to go back and get more stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's gravity generator. Mentor. Yeah, that's what I want. Number seven. Yeah, right about there. So I'll have to go back to the reactor components. That's no big deal. So we can start getting some power going in this place. really enjoy playing this game um, it's kind of a different take on Minecraft and you know you guys know I like to play that game so but um, I don't know if I've said it before but I think this game once it gets a little further along I mean it's not I mean it's quite enjoyable now but I think once the uh, 
modding community kind of gets hold of this game. Why do I have that? I think uh, I think that might change the feel of this game for the better. And I could just kind of envision modded guns and different parts. Like I watched a little spotlight on how they just added wheels to this game. So now you're talking about like ground-based transport instead of um, space. So it'd be kind of cool. All right, I thought I had enough computers. How many more we need? Eight. Eight computers. And after we get some of this stuff moved over, I'm going to kind of take apart this ship a little bit. Alright. And if you wonder how I did that, uh, if you right click and drag then you can have a specified amount okay so we have our reactor put in so now let's get rid of that other hot bar so I don't get it confused and how much is a gravity generator going to be? Because I was debating on whether just to disassemble that one and take it over there or to make a new one. Um, let's just make a new one because I think I already have some of the pieces made up for it. Maybe. Yeah, I do. And I got a pretty cool design for the refinery setup. So, where am I? There we are. Let's go ahead and take you with me. Alright, so let's see what else we need. Computers 40. Doubt we have computers, that many computers on us. 40. And it would be nice just to add all that stuff to my inventory at one time, but uh, I, don't, I don't have that much storage space. Steel plates, gravity, general construction components. Got that. Large steel 2, 4, motor 6, computer 40. Motors, we need large, oh yeah, okay. So just need a handful of more motors, which we have already made. Okay. So just have that working since we'll need it shortly okay um, steel plates um, 200 please about 2,000 nice all right, so we should have gravity generator be able to go in pretty quickly. And let me rotate you. Yeah, just like that. Okay, good. Got everything on us. So our space station is going to come along pretty good this episode. And so kind of my thought process is I want to get this little small space station up and going a little bit better. 
um, have like a or two ore processing plants, and then that way I can start focusing on a bigger ship, and then I'll move all the systems into a huge ship, which I started designing in my head, and if it goes like I want it to, it should be pretty epic. I'm getting ready to run out of life. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, cool. Fly. Just in the time. So we'll charge this up. We'll take a piece of uranium over there and uh, get some gravity going. Just one place, just one ingot. Just for now. So. now we can work a little bit better around here so the next thing I get going up is a refinery Let's see probably don't have near this stuff for it I have to have lots of steel plates it's near a thousand steel plates That's why I've made so many steel plates, because I'm going to have two refineries. Of course, the other one being here as I salvage through here. Alright. So I need a thousand and four. Not one oh four. Seems a little more difficult than it needed to be. So, since it's going to take a little bit build up, I'll bring you back once we uh, get a little further. Alright, I'm back. So, I finished building the refinery there. And next, I'm going to uh, cut out this assembler out of here and move it out to my platform. If I can get up the, the stairs okay so similar coming out and I'm going to move it to the platform and I cleared all the inventory space of the assembler put it in the chest next door and uh, should be able to have this go up pretty quickly. So I think I'm part of my problem is that you see on my gravity it's 1.9. I think I'm getting gravity from both both places. Okay, cool. So let's turn you. You have to turn down. It's the other one's the problem. Yeah, that's it. Turn you down like 20 meters. See how that works. Okay. So now the assembler. 
it's gonna go right he here nope yeah this always is fun is that it yes that's it okay you see how so I put it right there you see how the the hatches are gonna line up between the assembler and the refinery so I can pass things through so you're going there and looks like I need to expand the gravity field just a little bit I went into a creative world and designed this little system so I think it's kinda cool just takes a while to cut down So yeah, just sitting here welding. So after I get done with this assembler, I'm going to put another refinery on the right side of it. So I'm going to have two, two refinery systems like I've said before. Yeah, I know the light get, support is getting low. If you'd well just a little faster. Okay, cool deal. Go get a charge up. And I'm going to move this medical uh, thing down there too as well. That'll be towards the end of the project. Okay, so let's stop this process. Oh, metal sword room. Okay, stop, please. Uranium. So I'm going to move everything over the storage thing. I'm going to cut off this refinery and then I'll have it placed down and weld it back up by the time you get uh, bring the carrot back. So just cut out a little bit of the boarding, boring footage. So be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So I finished uh, putting that second refinery in. And basically I put them this way so all the ports line up. So as I access the assembler uh, interface I can basically pull from the refineries without having to go basically I'm just kind of connecting up all the inventories with through the hatches it's kind of basically how I'm doing it so I'm gonna put a small cargo container here and uh, that way it'll give me so I can start bringing some of the supplies over here because I gotta make a few more things to continue this build need a place to store all the junk. Okay, good deal. So let's go get a charge up. And I can almost take the power down out of this thing. So, well, I guess I gotta wait till I move the medical room, then I can pull the power out. So the next part of this build, I'm going to use something that was just added in the, one of the most recent uh, updates, the patches, and that's the conveyors. These right here, conveyor and conveyor tubes. So it's going to be pretty cool. So let me move some inventory over and do just a little bit of prep work, and then I'll bring you back for the setup. Hey guys, back. So got this working a little bit. Got one small cargo container, but basically I have everything in here. And then I got the framework of another cargo container up here. So what this system is going to be is I'm going to have conveyors right here. 
and I'm going to use this storage container as an input chest. So as I do the mining and everything, I'll insert this into the cargo container. Through the conveyor belts, it will ship it to the refineries to get processed. So let me go ahead and just lay out that system just a little bit. I still got a little more materials to craft as you can hear the assembler rolling. But let's get the framework out a little bit. And then we'll do. No, I need the. I guess I haven't got it yet. Conveyor. So the conveyor tubes can only go in a straight line, but the conveyor blocks can let you turn, turn a, uh, turn angles. And you go here. Six. And then you go here. So basically, if I clear this off, so you can see chest things go into the input chest, come down the conveyor belts, comes here, goes down these two conveyor blocks, and will be sent to both refineries. Now when I was testing this design in Creative, um, I found that it likes to send this send it to the left refinery first before sending over here so basically it won't do like a round robin um, type of thing but I think that'll be okay because either I can just either split it manually or if I put enough materials to where it fills up the buffer on this then it'll bounce back and take the next available inventory which will be here so well I guess that's gonna be a problem we'll have to wait to see if it is actually a problem um, but yeah so that's the framework of we're gonna kinda automate this system a little bit and since the hatches of the refinery and the assembler are lined up once I access the assembler GUI I can just grab from each refinery to make different materials so yeah pretty cool right and I have a, another idea that maybe we'll have to do a little bit later but been able to tie this source um, container into the assembler as well but yeah it's, that's a project for probably another day so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a little bit of a shorter episode go ahead and call it there and so I can finish up crafting up all the pieces for the tubes because um, it needs a lot of construction components and as you can see that's what I'm still making right there I got 80 made so I could probably make a few of them which I guess yeah we can make a few of them let's go um, and then once we come back on the next episode that I'll have this completed and we can start uh, do a little bit do a little bit more so you see it's bullfoot graph motors star uh, small tubes and, and construction components but it's 40 construction components each so it's like 200 total motors oh yeah I got motors crafting there too well Let's just do as much as we can on all of them. But again, I, I thank you for joining me on another episode of Space Engineers. Having fun on this game, enjoying it. Um, not a steel plate. So yeah, we're basically out of everything now. I could build these up just a little bit. Could be short on motors as well. So yeah, between the episodes, it'll give me a chance to kind of let the assembler catch up with what I have, uh, what I need being made, and uh, we'll go from there. So see you guys on the next one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it or thumb it up. Subscribe if you haven't already, so you can see some more of all my uh, my videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.